Hi practitioners, Dr. Nat here. I wanted to chat with you today about the role that primary and secondary bile acids play with your patient's motility. Primary bile acids play a larger role in the small intestine and what they do functionally is break down our fats and they also help in transporting our fats and fat soluble vitamins to the brush border of the duodenum so that they can be absorbed. Secondary bile acids play a larger role in the large intestine as they interact with various receptors there, impacting immune regulation, metabolic health, and mucosal health. So despite primary and secondary bile acids being structurally very different, they both can have a huge impact on our patient's motility, which is likely one of the big reasons that they're coming in to see you. They either have slowed motility or constipation or fast motility and diarrhea. So when you're trying to figure out the various reasons why your patients have this altered motility, please make sure that you do add on the new stool omics to their GI map. Patterns that you may see for fast motility or diarrhea would be high primary bile acids, high total bile acids, high secondary bile acids, and a high LCA to DCA ratio. So everything on the higher side. If your patient has slow motility or constipation, patterns that you may see would be low primary bile acids, low total bile acids, low secondary bile acids, and a low LCA to DCA ratio.